Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This time, because my modifying Undertale save data video was so popular, and because I'm a Mac user mainly, I will show you the Mac version. So, first thing you want to do is go to Finder. Then you want to go, see this part at the top? Go to Go. At the bottom here, go to Folder. Then you want to paste in this. It'll be in the description. Hit Go. Then you'll find this. Then what you want to do is you want to go back to go, go to folder. You want to remove this last part right here. Then you want to find the dot com slash Toby Fox thing. So it's right here. So then you want to drag it over here and make a shortcut for it. I already did. So once you get to it, there's your stuff. So you want to um, go here to Flowey's Time Machine again. For this example, last time we did sand, so this time we'll do undying the undying. So you want to load the preset, choose file, do undertale.ini, now scroll down. <coughs> For file 0, choose file, choose file 0, then um, save and save. Now drag both of them to your desktop. Now, if you're like me and you have done this more than once, then they will have a number at the end. So what you want to do is you want to rename the file. Make sure to get rid of the number at the end if you've done this once before, but you probably haven't. If you're watching this tutorial. Alright, so then you want to back up whatever save data you have right now. So I'll just, I'll just um, put it in my emulator folder. Then you want to drag the new ones that you just downloaded, go, sort it by name, X out. Now to test it, let's open Undertale. Sorry, I modified the splash screen. Now as you can see, it loads us in, in the Undying fight. The Undying, the Undying fight, that is. Just to prove it, I'll go through this. <laughs> Alright, so anyway guys, I hope this tutorial helped you. And, um... If Undertale ever gets released for Linux, I'll do a Linux version. But anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.